Hello, hello. Welcome on in to another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. On today's episode, we're talking about real spirits and the distiller's edition, which apparently has a very long name that Matt didn't even mm-hmm. bother telling me. Yeah, we'll leave that to him. Mm-hmm. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Matt, why don't you tell us that really long name? All right. So this is from our buddy from a uh, Devin Topo, who is the master distiller. He was on the show with us last week. And so we figured we might as well review this. This is a really good whiskey. So this mm-hmm. is the Real Spirits Distilling Co. Texas Hill Country Distillers Edition Straight Cash Strain Straight Malt Whiskey. So that's why I didn't give it to him because it's a really long name. <laughs> so, you know. Holy mother of pearl. Yeah, I yeah wouldn't have exactly. Been so I saw no point in giving you the name. But anyway, it's 58%. Yeah. It's So what it is, they take three separate whiskeys. Which he also gave us those reviewed another time. That is their, uh, you'll have your wheat. Your, your rye and your corn, or sorry, yeah, wheat, corn, and rye. And each of those is 85% malted barley and 15% of the other grain. They take all three of those, put them together, all cast strain. This comes out at 34 months. And it's, uh, let's see what we think of it, because well, that's funny. You're going to see the history of them. Uh, we have that back on there. Like I said, you can watch the live stream he was on on Monday. It was a great show. Yes, indeed. It was. Talked about all sorts of fun things. They're just really experimenting with all sorts of uh, fun, exciting things. Speaking of uh, that, actually, you can. This kit's about to be released of all four of these together. Mm-hmm. So, just in time for Christmas, if you guys want to pick one of these up here really soon from the distillery, and they'll hold it for you as well if you can't go down there to Blanco. Uh, but yeah, this is a fun, fun thing. So, let's see what we think of it. Oh, I love the nose on it. It's just oh. rich and dense. It's, it's like just very coconut and macadamia nut. Yeah, I, I mm-hmm. smell it and I think of fall. Yeah, I yeah, think. definitely. There's almost like a there's not it's not pumpkin, but there's like a pumpkin. There's a spiciness Maybe kind it's of in, nutmeg. in yeah, and yeah, clay, it's all it. spice. cinnamon. Yeah. Oh, you get that. You could you get each of the corn, the wheats, and the rye. Yes, you can you pick do. all them up with the baked bread and almonds and walnuts and apples and honey and like wildflowers. It smells to me like the wheat is oh. the predominant. It really does. It's got that sweet, sweet going on mm-hmm. right in the front. Ginger. But it's got the rye spice. Yeah. It's just, it's yeah. very unique, too. It's a totally different Texas whiskey, and I really like the fact that it's different. I do, too. Well, we it's... typically enjoy the weird and different. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's, there's no doubt about nothing that. Nothing like the weird and different that we've tried so far. Okay. That's true. I get what you're saying, Matt, completely. It's good. It smells really, really good. It smells really good. And yeah, if you guys haven't tried real spirits, you need to get some. It's you need to get great. them. Are they are, are they still only in just Texas? Only just in Texas. But the good news is you can like I said, you can order, you can call and they'll hold it for a year or so. Just give them a call and they're, they're happy to hold your stuff for them. Maybe next time you're down for the fall or something. They're 45 minutes west of Austin. So Find you can go check them out. Awesome you know. big giant brewery there too. Yeah, their brews are good too. Yeah, had a couple of beers really in the live stream. They were tasty, tasty. We had fun with those. Yes, those were good beers. Yeah. So for me, the corn is a predominant note on the on the palate. Um, but every one of those grains is just very well. Pl- they're playing well together. It's a nice round, cohesive oh. flavor that kind of drifts across your palate. Not too bumpy, not too spiky. Um, nope. Very cohesive. What's my proof point on this thing? It's got to be above 50, but it doesn't drink like 58%, it. 58%. So, wow. Beautiful 116 proof. So it's Very drinking nice. like it's 48%, mm-hmm. but carrying the flavor of well above 50. Yeah. That's really yeah. awesome. Mm-hmm. It's To me, it's like the lifesavers. Like the multi-pack of lifesavers you get, like when we were kids in the old red, uh, the red foil. That's what yeah. I guess. The first thing I think of is just this just, just like flavor explosion of fruits and malt and just nuts. It's just beautiful. Vanillas, creme brulee, coconut, like a mm-hmm. like a melted vanilla yeah, bean no, ice cream. There's so much oh. going on in this glass. Corn sweetness. The, like wheat, 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 sweet. the wheat sweet sticks out so yeah. much to me. I get a dustiness from the corn. Uh-huh, but, but the wheat, the wheat sweet wheat. Is, is what really, and it's not quite like lone elm wheat. But it's, it's totally down different. that path. It's it's yeah. down that path where it's not just uh, soft. It actually it carries some body to it. I agree. Yeah, and it's got this super rye spice on the finish of it. That's really yep. nice. Mm-hmm. But Black it's also got like this cotton mm-hmm. candy, like Black peel and lit candy. Mm. Oh, mm. Um, jasmine tea with lemongrass. 
lavender, Ooh. lemon lime, grapefruit, tangerines. Oh God, that's good. Water's well, so actually good. Matt, put a drop of water in, buddy. All right, it's even better with water. All right, give it a. I it explodes. Do that. Loads. So particularly with it. So <laughs> what I love about it is, is that it was that nice round cohesive ball that drank so low. But if you want to really explore this thing, you put a drop of water in and the flavors explode. Um, they just all come alive. And every one of them is, is a nice layer upon layer mm -hmm. um, in your palate. It's not a oh. spiky thing. It's just layered now uh, on the palate. And that's some, like crazy lemon with the drop of water on the nose. Wild. Whoa. Yeah, that changes it a lot. It like it separates and goes in like four different directions. Yeah. Yep. That's insane. And it keeps changing. Like it. Right. That's what Whoa. I enjoyed about it was that the jerk the, the palette journey was completely different. Oh man, that gets and that now that does seem to amp wrap up the proof though. It, it does gets way hot of with a drop of water. I, yeah. I agree with you completely. Every bit of that fifty eight percent actually shows up when you put the drop of water in versus uh -huh. when that you didn't. It was yeah. drinking low fifties, high forties, maybe. I agree. Yeah, that's crazy. But the citrus is opening more and more in this thing. Yeah, like, like go crazy. Mm -hmm. I like mm, it. That's really good whiskey. It's good stuff. Another good so, Texas whiskey. Yep. Yeah. So this will go to the market. You guys will be able to get this, the uh, distiller edition. But if you want the kit, you got to go to the distil it's distiller only for the whole kit. And you can make your own blend. Fall and they're all cast strain single barrels, and they're all freaking really good. Listen, we'll give you guys individual uh, reviews of all these at some point. But uh, figure it's concentrate on this one for today. Fair enough. All right. All right, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell and come hang out with us live on Monday night. And until next time, cheers. keep on crusading, put a whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. Bell in the outtake for that one. And until next time, Keep on crusading, put a liquids in your glass. Damn it. Cheers. Keep on crusading, put a whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.